Welcome to my channel. I'm Zhang Jingxu. Let's look at the problem seven in chapter eight. In this one, we are no, we are given a force on x component. The force quantity is given as there is a function is there. We need to prove this force is conservative. So now let's remember the requirement for the conservative force is means the in the force do the work only depends on the initial point and the final point. Do you agree? Yes. And then we find we can do the work for this force. And this force only has x component, so we do integral for the x. And we can see this force changes with the position x, so we do the integral from the initial point to the final point. And then after we, the initial, we find yes, this force is only depends on initial position and the final position. See, in these terms, right? Yes, this force is conservative. The next one. Uh, if this force is conservative, can you determine the potential energy of function? Yes, this we know in the textbook, this force is negative. Use the potential energy, do the derivation with the x, right? So in this equation, you find this derivation for the force. We input the force inside, we get this function. And then we can do the integral for this potential energy, and then we find it is there. And this C is just a constant. Thank you.